down to 32 teams in the NCAA tournament, and it takes one more win to be sweet. Tomorrow, the Baylor men's basketball team will try to advance to the Sweet 16 for the fourth time in eight seasons. Sports director John Elizondo is with the team in Tulsa. John, Baylor can't let up against the Trojans. Yeah, Baylor's had their own share of comeback victories this season. It does not compare to the USC Trojans. The Trojans have had 12 comfrey behind wins when they were down by 10 points or more this season, including two in the NCAA tournament. The most recent one happened on Friday when USC was down to SMU by 12, came back and won. A big reason for it was their ability to shoot the three. Now, USC doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but they do have a knack for relying on it when they trail in games. Add that to the fact that five players in their main rotation shoot 35% or better from downtown. That makes the Trojans a team the Bears need to put away quickly. It's playing to win and instead of playing not to lose. Uh, you know, uh, we kind of started doing that in the Mexico State game. They're probably more comfortable because they played more games and uh, they're, on a, they're on a high right now. They've hit big shots. They, they're playing, you know, they're playing basketball now. And we just, what you say? We, gotta play our game. we just got to play our game. We just got to have fun and take care of the ball. It is the third time the Bears and Trojans will meet, first time since 1976. Tip-off is expected to be at 645 tomorrow night. Reporting live in Tulsa, John Elizondo, The Texas Report. Thank you, John.